Who remembers this scene? And who am I? I'm a motherfucker. <laughs> Hello everyone, today we'll be reviewing 1995's Kids, a movie directed by Larry Clark and written by Harmony Kareem. The movie centers around a young man named Telly whose entire mission is deflowering virgins and Chloe Sevigny, who ends up being one of his victims. She unfortunately, it's I hard to say. Oh, it's right away. Larry Clark, this man directed the film and a lot of other controversial films. Rosario Dawson also plays in the movie. She has a few regretting lines, I must say, despite her stardom. Justin Pierce plays in the film as Casper, Telly's buddy. A lot of kids from New York, they basically just get faded throughout the film. It's hard to really say that they did anything else, but Chloe Sevigny is definitely the main actor. The kids from the film are basically kids that were just scouted by Larry Clark and Harmony Kareen throughout the streets of New York. Harold Hunter, um, he's actually a skateboarder from the streets of New York during that time. He, rest in peace, has passed away. Justin Pierce has also passed away by his own hand, unfortunately. Harmony Kareen also wrote Gummo, which also features Chloe Sevigny, and that was also another controversial movie. The thing about this movie, which was called A Wake Up Call to the World, is basically the drug use graphic sexual intercourse and all of this displayed by minors at least if not kids preteens telly who is basically the antagonist of the film goes around deflowering young women who he figures are new which is what he calls them basically he he feels that um at the beginning of the movie, it displays how he, a testimony towards what he feels that virginal beauty is to him. He uses different phrases, sort of like derogatory things that I'm not really going to mention right now, but he has, he definitely has a reason for liking virgins, I must say. And by the girls being that young, I guess you could say that really correlates with virginity. So basically, Jenny, who's only had sex with Telly, ends up going to the clinic with her friend, who ends up being Rosario Dawson, and she and Rosario Dawson get tested for HIV, but only one of them is positive, and despite one having definitely been promiscuous and having frivolous activity, the other one ends up testing positive, who's only been with Telly, who is Jenny. Jenny spends the entire movie looking for Telly in order to let him know that she has contracted HIV from him. What unfolds is basically a journey of partying, drug use, sex, 90s New York City. They really didn't have much aside from what they were doing every day, like which is what you, which is what Telly says at the end, as far as his little um, epitome that he left when he was in the bed with the girl. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of commentary, a few clips that'll give a good overview of what the film is actually about. The first few scenes will feature what happens after Telly leaves the girl's house. He and Casper go to a store where they proceed to just take a couple of 40 ounces and basically get the day started. They've, it looks, it appears to be early in my opinion, say like nine or 10 o'clock. They really don't have any jobs or anything like that, so the streets are basically where they roam throughout the day. I'll let the song play within the clip. This big on this, do you have it? What? This one when you're older, kid. Oh, God. 
Jenny, Jenny who? You know Jenny, man. That pretty girl you bought last summer. Aw, oh, man. Yo, tell me says what's up. I knew you want to speak to me, that dick. He stole her virginity. Oh, he took it away. <laughs> How many people have you had vaginal intercourse with? One. Of course with. All together? Yes. Jenny, you've tested positive for the HIV virus. I had sex with Telly. Come back to Stephen's house tonight. Meanwhile, at Stephen's party, everything appears to be going according as planned. There's a bunch of girls there. All the kids are getting lit. Everybody's doing exactly what's supposed to be going on right now. Although a lot of kids there, there's still one man among men who seems to be this guy. Jenny has caught a taxi to the party to let Telly know that she has contracted HIV and that He's the only person, but Telly, meanwhile, is on his way into the party with Darcy. By the time Jenny gets there, it's a bit too late for her to confront Telly. He is taking another victim, and there's unfortunately nothing that she can do, really. My least favorite scene. When you're young, not much matters. When you find something that you care about, then that's all you got.